Well, John Stegman joins us from Cincinnati, uh, a Cincinnati Reds fan, I found out. Mm -hmm. uh, Catholic TV is there on MCTV, Roku, and Apple TV. And John served as a columnist for the Archdiocesan paper, the Catholic Telegraph, and now works at Glen Mary Home Missions. John, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you here with us. Uh, <clears throat> tell us about writing on new media. Sure. Well, um, as you know, new media is uh, basically well, it's something we're using right now. We're conducting this interview, obviously, uh, via Skype. And new media is anything besides your old school print radio and television. So it's things like the Internet, Facebook, Twitter, all the social media platforms. And you can use all of those. Uh, like you mentioned opportunities earlier in the show. And all of those are great opportunities to reach people, just like you can reach them when they come into the parish on Christmas. You can reach them where they are every day on social media. So specifically with that, I authored a column for the Catholic Telegraph called Millennial Catholic, which is basically what it sounds like. I am a millennial and a Catholic, and I wanted to talk a little bit about my experiences in that and also to dialogue with other millennial Catholics. We would ask them questions. We would use uh, Facebook and such to ask them questions like if you're a millennial Catholic and you no longer go to Mass, why is that? Or if you're someone who does still go to Mass, what is it that keeps bringing you back to the church? And that created kind of a dynamic element that hopefully served as a bit of an entry point for millennials into the Catholic press, which is something that they're really not as connected to as, as they could be. Now John, we, we actually here at Catholic TV, we're part of a, a larger corporation, iCatholic Media, and we have some old media. We have, of course, a television station, uh, a newspaper, a very fine uh, Catholic newspaper, and then we have, of course, all kinds of other ways that we reach out, especially through uh, social media, and try to use, use that as best we possibly can. So we talk about millennials a lot. Now, you, you recently wrote a column that posed a challenge to millennials, and I, I wanted to know if you could share that challenge with us. Absolutely. Uh, it's kind of a critical question that really can be applied to anyone, millennial or not. But in, in the context of my column, it was for millennials, and the question is, what are we waiting for? Uh, millennials, you know, we had a little bit of a slow start for some of us into adulthood. Some of us crashed on our parents' couch for a while after college with the recession and things. But it's time for us to get moving now. Uh, Archbishop Dennis uh, M. Schnur, the Archbishop here in the Archdiocese of Cincinnati, is fond of quoting St. John Paul II, who once said, young people are not the church of tomorrow, they're the church of today. And it's so great to have the church recognizing that, uh, both locally with our archbishop here and internationally with events like World Youth Day. But millennials, uh, it can't just be the institutional church. It has to be us, too. We have to take that responsibility on ourselves and start taking up uh, roles in our parish, in our communities, in our families. Uh, we need to step up, and we need to, if our parish needs help running the festival, that's for us to do. If our parish needs uh, extraordinary uh, ministers of Holy Communion, that's for us to do. Lectors. You know, altar servers, you mentioned being a server. I know uh, there's still plenty of millennials that are still in high school that would be great for, uh, for serving at the altar. So there's so many roles for us to do that we can step up, and it's time for us to do that. We're always saying that we're ready. We're ready for more responsibility. We're ready for more money at work. We're ready for more opportunity. But it's time for us to step up, and what are we waiting for? Yeah. If we don't do it now, when will we? Great challenge. Yeah, you know, new media can, can be intimidating. It can be challenging. But I mentioned the word opportunity. Isn't it also a great opportunity for the church to reach people they might otherwise never reach? Absolutely. And that's exactly what I was trying to do with this column and with some of the other work we've done here at the Catholic Telegraph. And that's, we have a great newspaper here, the Catholic Telegraph, 185 year history. But despite having, I think we have uh, somewhere around 150,000 uh, subscribers, I don't think very many of them are millennials. I think the vast majority of millennials uh, and younger people, they don't have any contact with the traditional Catholic life, especially if they've fallen away from the church. But if an interesting story comes across their social media feed, if they see a story of evangelization, a story of hope that comes across on Twitter or, on, or a great photo on Instagram that really captures you know, the elements of the gospel, the gospel resonates with people always and forever. You just have to put it where they are so they can see it. So with the opportunities we have on social media, it's unbelievable to reach not only young people, but it's also a, a growing demographic of, of older people as well on social media. We can reach everybody there. It's, it's where the people are and the opportunity is immense. Hey, John, uh, great Skype, by the way, speaking of new media. And Thank uh, thanks for holding on for so long. I know we brought you on and then you had to listen to us uh, chat, chit chat uh, here in the living room for a while. So we appreciate you taking the time for this whole thing. But now you've changed gears a bit. Um, 
working now with Glen Mary Home Missions and their communications efforts. Can you tell us about that mission? Absolutely. Uh, so the Glen Mary Home Missioners are sometimes called the Missionaries to Rural America. Uh, we celebrated our 75th anniversary back in 2014. And what the Glen Mary Home Missioners is, is a Catholic society of priests and brothers who, along with co-workers and lay people like myself, uh, aim to bring the church to areas of the United States where there is not yet an effective Catholic presence. Primarily, we serve in Appalachia and in the South in areas, you know, here in Cincinnati, and I know in Boston, the Catholic church is everywhere. From where I'm sitting in my office in downtown Cincinnati right now, there are five churches within one mile of where I sit. Uh, in many places in the United States, there's no priest for an entire county. There's no church anywhere around for people to get to. So what Glen Mary does is we bring the church to those places. And most of those places are not only don't have many Catholics, they're also very impoverished. Mm -hmm. So we serve the spiritual and material needs of those people. Uh, we were founded by Father William Bishop. And basically that's our goal is to serve the material and spiritual needs of people living in some of the most impoverished counties around the country and to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ and God's power, mercy, and love. That must be real rewarding for you, John. It must feel good to do that type of work. You know, I, I'm hoping that it will be. I'm actually just starting the job. I'm just kind of getting my feet wet right now. I'm, I fully anticipate that it will be. I'm very excited about the opportunity to, to do that. I mean, growing the church in any way that we can is always good. And the specific charism of Glen Mary and the way that they do that is truly inspiring. So you kind of took up your own challenge. Exactly. You said, here's, here's a chance for, for, for me to serve as a millennial. I'm going to do it. What's, what's preventing me? Exactly. And that's what I what got me to work for the Catholic Telegraph in the first place. I was a sports writer for most of my journalistic career uh, prior to coming to the Catholic Telegraph. But I wanted to put these skills to work uh, for the church. I wanted to serve God more than just serving, you know, there's nothing wrong with sports coverage. I'm a big sports fan. But I wanted to do something more, and I did it with uh, with this job. And now I'm looking forward to taking up this new challenge as well and, and serving the church in these very concrete ways to help build it and help it grow. Are you also a Bengals fan? I am. Who day? <laughs> hey, where can people learn more about Glen Mary Home Missions, John? Sure, you can visit our website, www.glenmary.org, and you can also connect with us on Facebook. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Very much enjoyed the conversation, and, and great to meet you. It's been great to be here. Thanks so much, and God bless all the work that you do. Thank you. You too. Have a great rest of the summer. Thank you. Take okay. care. Bye. Isn't that great?